Right, guys, I'm playing uh, PUBG. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying PUBG. I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile on my iPhone 14 Pro Max using the backbone. Yes, this is a light clean version. I do know there's a Type C version. Like I said, until I actually have a, a, real, a real reason why I, I need to actually update my phone or upgrade my phone to the 15 Pro Max, then I'm not going to do that. I mean, I would, I would love to have a 15 Pro Max, but uh, paying a grand for a phone is, is not a joke. You know, it's a lot of money. Oh my God, this thing. I mean, listen, the thing is, my phone works. All the apps work. Like I said, before I got the backbone, my phone wasn't doing anything. You understand? My, my, phone, my phone was not doing a, a lot. It wasn't doing anything. You, you, you understand what I mean? This phone, my iPhone was doing nothing. It was just sitting there. So when I start contemplating, I need to update my phone. I need to update my phone, yeah, to the 15 Pro Max. Yet the 14 Pro Max is doing absolutely nothing. It's just sitting there. You understand? So th this is my issue. How am I supposed to update to the 15 Pro Max Knowing that the 14 Pro Max does absolutely nothing. It's just sitting there. All I do with it is just check stuff um, and maybe the news here and there. But overall, you know what your phone does in your house. It does nothing. It just sits there. Unless you need to charge it for something. So what I'm saying is, when I got the backbone, it brought life to my phone. Because then I was like, what's this backbone stuff? You know, I don't normally... I'll tell you the truth. I don't normally focus so much on uh oh my god i don't normally focus so much on game controllers especially for phones so i was like what's the hype about this backbone thing uh because i've been seeing it a lot on uh instagram they're always advertising this thing and they're always like oh this backbone is a game changer blah 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 and y you know what i mean so i'm like what's what's the hype about this thing but these were type c's you know you know what i mean these were the type c's and I, I just I just didn't I didn't understand. It didn't click in my head like what what is so nice about the backbone when it's costing a hundred dollars and this is only the type C version. I got the old iPhone uh, and I was I was I was interested in it, but I was thinking it's expensive to buy for hundred dollars. Why do I need it? I've got a DualSense controller. If I need to play a game on my phone, oh my god the dog's chasing me. <laughs> chasing me. Trying to run. Oh damn. So so what I'm saying is one my iPhone's doing nothing. It sits there. I, all I do with my iPhone is check a few messages or someone calls me, which is <laughs> not a lot of people. And then uh basically my phone's doing nothing. So for me to to upgrade to the 15 Pro Max is a joke. When this phone does absolutely nothing, what's the point? So the 15, I'm gonna pay a grand for phone to do nothing, just sit there, and uh, I'll just be like, I've got the 15 Pro Max. Uh, as long as people know, who's gonna know about it? Who's gonna actually know it's a 15 Pro Max? These phones look exactly the same. If if I wasn't saying this was a 14 Pro Max, no one would know. It's just that I don't see a point in in saying something when I don't actually have it. I don't see the point. You, you know what I'm saying? The phones look exactly identical to one another. So there's no real point in me telling you guys things that I don't have. I've got an MSI Reader laptop. I've proven that uh, it's got an RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU, 16 gigs of RAM. It's there. I've done the MSI to burn a stuff because I'm obviously interested in this uh, thing. You understand? I'm obviously interested a lot in um, in gaming. So when I, when I got the laptop, I, I wanted to do reviews about it. But I told you guys why I didn't do reviews the first time. Because the laptop let me down. It's only goes, it runs uh, 1560 megahertz. 
And uh, to me, I, I, I just think 1560 megahertz is too low for games. How do I know that? Because I played Call of Duty and uh, the FPS I was getting on that was really bad. I, I, I don't even want to say it like a joke thing. It was bad. I was getting like uh, 30 frames per second and I was like, what's going on? This thing has got 16 gigs of RAM. I should be at least getting or playing the game on Ultra. I couldn't even play it on Ultra. It wouldn't work on Ultra. And then I, I went into, then I found out MSI Center uh, would push the graphics to 1640. But still, it wouldn't play on Ultra. I was like, what's up with this laptop? Is it broken? What's wrong? You know, 16 gigs of, what's 16 gigs of VRAM doing there? I made a video about, I even tried to sell the laptop. I was like, I wasted my money. Until I discovered MSI after burner, and I started listening to what the people were saying, overclock the laptop. When I started playing around with overclocking on my laptop and discovering, okay, if I mess up with the overclocking, nothing happens, it just restarts your laptop. You're not gonna damage your laptop. And when I discovered MSI after burner, I made so many videos explaining what I use mine on. But I've noticed 2100, um, Mine can go up to uh, 2300 megahertz, but it needs an external fan. Uh, how did I know that? I used in, uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience to find that out. So that's how I know mine, mine is quite good, very good for gaming. Um, but the highest I've ever pushed mine to was 2130. So what, what I'm saying is, I, I'm not trying to demote uh, other laptops, I'm just saying uh, be careful to buy laptops based on VRAM because um, Steam now actually says the minimum for um, AAA games, the minimum uh, that you should expect is 8 gigs of VRAM. I did explain don't buy 6 gigs of VRAM laptops anymore. The RTX 3060s, yes, I know they're good, but don't, don't, oh my god, sniper, don't, don't waste your money buying the 6 gig of VRAM. I told you guys, do not waste your money because you're gonna waste a lot of money buying a laptop that eventually will not be supported for gaming. They do this every time. Every time they wanna promote something. Oh my God. You understand? So what I'm saying is, uh, be careful out there. Don't, don't buy uh, laptops, uh, especially older versions and think they're good. Mine, I thought mine was good, but uh, I was just disappointed. You see, they thought I was standing. I actually crouched. <laughs> I kind, I kind of knew what was gonna happen. I knew that if I didn't crouch, they're gonna kill me. Oh my god! So what I'm saying is, oh my god! So what I'm saying is, be careful with buying laptops, especially based on VRAM. Because the expectations that you are expecting, you're expecting uh, 6 gig of VRAM to just be there forever. Those expectations one day may prove, be proven wrong. Because how do I know that Steam uh, now requires 8 gigs of VRAM? Because I'm, I'm, I have a Steam Deck. I have a Steam Deck. And my Steam Deck's on Windows. So a lot of the time I like to see what uh, games are working on Steam. And if there are games that are worth playing, I'll buy them. And I do, I do reviews of those as well on my Steam Deck. So I kind of have an idea of um, what's new out there. I'm not saying that I'm, I know all the games. No, I don't. I don't want to say that because I do not know every game. But what I'm saying is I have an idea of what, you know, what's popular. At the moment, Counter Strike is still popular. What's this guy using? Is he, I think he's using a, a sniper weapon. Sniper? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, he's got a nice scope to his weapon. Fine. Uh, what, what I'm saying is basically is uh, be careful with buying these uh, laptops, the old laptops, because, like I said, I was disappointed with mine. It's like, what did I pay a grand for? I couldn't, I couldn't even play Call of Duty on Ultra, but now, now I, I can actually say I can play Call of Duty on, on Ultra. I can actually play it on um, on a lot of stuff, you know. 
I can. I, I can play um, Call of Duty on Ultra, my laptop. And I've noticed that what my laptop does prefer is the 1950 uh, megahertz with the MV. The MV here would be the voltage. The voltage you need to use is the uh, MV950. How do I know this? Because I, I did a lot of testing. I was trying to find the perfect um, voltage for my laptop. And the perfect voltage for my laptop is the uh, 950 MV. I, I don't know much about what MV stands for. Uh, but I do know that that's what my laptop prefers in terms of overclocking. And the only way that you're actually going to get... The only way you're, you're actually gonna get um, the only way you're actually gonna get that. Okay, it's someone here. <laughs> this person ran right in front of me. This is person. You see, I told you this crouching thing works. Well, they're not expecting you to crouch, are they? Was coming. Keep it up. The person is coming. Oh, Enemy wow! So basically, what, what I'm saying is, I got my Steam Deck and and I start scrolling for games here, yeah? and then basically th that's how I get all this information. If you want to where the Steam Deck is, it's right over there. That's that's my Steam Deck right there. I hope you guys can see. That's the Steam Deck. In case anyone's wondering, I do have a Steam Deck. It's on Windows. Uh, I did explain why my, my Steam Deck ended up on Windows. Because I had an, I had an error when, uh, an error situation of my SSD not working properly. My version is the 64 gigabyte LCD version. It's the older version of Steam Deck. And uh, I had an, an error issue whereby it wasn't turning on. So when I bought the one terabyte a SanDisk, I uh, know it was a transient uh, SSD, the 2230, I had to put a different operating system because my Steam Deck wouldn't start up with uh, Steam. So I put Windows. That's how my Steam Deck ended up on Windows. That's the story. So I've never changed it since getting it. It was on Steam operating system. At, uh, when, when I first got it, that was two years ago. I've had, had my I've had my Steam Deck for two years. I mean, from the from the time that it was actually released uh, and uh, up to now. Ah, damn it. Uh, from from the time it's been released uh, two years ago, up to now, I've 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 still had my uh, Steam Deck. So I, I don't know about other people when they got their Steam Decks. But mine was the pre-order version, and uh, that's that's how I got mine. You understand? So I got mine that way. I had to pre-order mine uh, back back in the day. You know when they when they first released um, when they first released uh, the Steam Deck. You know. they all on this side so that's that's why i i say that with my steam deck oh my god oh sniper's gone to our side now so where, where is this person is? are they at the top here i'm just wondering everyone's just okay they're not on this one they're on the other house right so basically that's why i keep saying that i i like to review stuff Oh my god. <laughs> Let's rip mine all right there. Right, so what I'm saying is I like to review a lot of stuff and obviously I like to kinda Enemy in sight. Ah damn it. So I, I like I like telling people like uh about stuff that I do, you know. Um uh, with with the hope that someone will actually learn from my mistakes 
Right, so I'm hoping that you guys are seeing that everything works on, on this uh, control on the backbone. And the things that do not work like cron, uh, but that, that would only be used, I think, in, in terms of... Um, I think proning is only going to work in uh, the Battle Royale, right? That's what I'm thinking about Battle Royale, because those, those times when you need to hide from the enemy and stuff, then you're going to use prawn. I, I don't see prawn being used now, like in this thing. Unless if I, if I really timed it well. You understand? Uh, if I really timed it, maybe I would be able to utilize... I'll be able to utilize the prawning. Prawning is when you're lying down completely. I had to bring those closer to this so I can click on them. But like I said, uh, I mean, I could tap on them. But like, like I said, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think the only things I'm seeing that you need to bring closer to this side would be to prawn. And if you need to indicate to your team, like the enemy, where the enemy is, that kind of thing. That's the only, um, those are the only things that I'm seeing that, that you need to have. Um, so, um, the things that I've moved closer to the screen is like things like voice chat stuff and, uh, the, the, the aiming, like, um, sorry, I mean, not aiming, but, um, you know, when you want to indicate where the enemy is, that thing, that icon that you click on, and then you can point in the direction and stuff like that and prone to prone, but. If I'm gonna prawn, basically, I think I'll be play. I'll be using that in battle royale because there'll be times when the circle's getting smaller, and obviously you need to hide, right? So that's that's why that's why I'm thinking prawn would be used in battle royale. But just to show you guys that I have them there, and I told you that you also need to kind of fade them in. You see, if I do that, you see, and and you can cancel and then to prawn, you see. So I think those functions, you're going to need them more for Battle Royale. But obviously, if I need to uh, point somewhere, like the enemy is coming from this direction, I'm being overwhelmed, obviously, I need those options. Um, I mean, of course, sometimes I just forget that I'm on auto sprint. But anyway. Um, right. So I gather you, you need to slow down sometimes. Oh, my God. Right. So basically, what I'm saying is, uh, I, ho I hope by you guys watching this that you'll be impressed and then think, well, I got the new iPhone, and uh, I, I, I think I think a hundred dollars uh, for something that's gonna give you uh, back your gaming uh, joy is 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 not a lot. I mean, I do understand it is a lot of money though. It's, uh, you can do a lot with hundred dollars, but I'm just saying if it's gonna allow you to play more games on your phone. Because obviously the, the PC games do get a bit boring at times. I mean, I, I like the, 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 the direction that... Uh, I like the direction that Call of Duty is going. They've got this juggernaut thing that I was playing today. So I was actually enjoying that one. But then I remembered I, I do want to make a review about the D3 uh, game controller and the backbone. And I, I wanted to do a comparison which I've made a video about and I've talked about if your phone's in a case and um, you want to fold your case. If you've got a Z Fold, like you see my Z Fold, it's folded. It's, it's actually secure as it is. I'm not even worried about it like, oh, you know, I need to worry about it. No, I think it's pretty, pretty secure. But, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is if you want something that's a bit more snug, for your phone, I, I think the backbone close, to me feels like better, higher quality, better quality as well. And it feels a bit more secure as well because my phone is really in there. It's not going to go anywhere. And because I've got those uh, champ extreme protectors, then obviously I feel like, um, I feel like uh, it's better protected. You understand? But this is just a preference thing. So I don't just think like, oh, okay. So D3 is not protecting your phone. It is protecting the phone, but I'm just saying in terms of material, I don't know what else to say. It's the material that I'm talking more about. I feel like the materials used um, on on the backbone are a bit more um, pricey, you know, you know, like better quality material. But obviously when you're comparing the prices 
uh, versus the, the D3 and the backbone, you will know that the backbone does go from anything from $100, which uh, is um, a huge difference in terms of the D3, which only costs 10, 10 to $20. And it's, it's actually a Bluetooth um, controller, whereas the other one uh, does have a few more features too and has an app that actually supports those features. Whereas the D3 has an app as well, but depending on which version of the app you've actually got, will also determine um, what games you can actually play using the D3 game control, which is the one above here. But the one thing I do like about it is if your phone's in a case, it'll fit, it won't fall out. If you've got a, a big screen phone like I do, the Fold, uh, because obviously I get more real estate and you you like to play game pass games uh your phone will be secured won't fall out so don't worry about that but what i'm saying is i just i just feel like um the the backbone does to me anyway it feels like it's better quality you see what i mean it's it's it feels more natural i don't know i don't know what the words are to say exactly how i can I don't know what, what way I can put this like to tell you guys and say um, the, 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 the backbone is if, if I was to tell you guys which one is my favorite right now which one do I prefer to have I would say 100% with 100% um, way of saying this 100% I prefer the backbone I prefer this one it's not it's nice it's uh it's more it's comfortable it 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 makes me feel like it doesn't matter what direction i'm holding this in my phone's not going to fall out it feels so secure the phone feels secure the materials used on this are flat it reminds me of holding a nintendo switch so if you've ever had played on a nintendo switch with the joy, joy cons this is what this feels like so it feels like it feels like someone created joy cons for my iphone and the whole screen has been used for the game. I'm not touching anything on the screen. I told you the only things I got is like the pointy thing here, which I can cancel, or the prawn, which I think the only places you would use those are in, on a personal note, would obviously, I think, would be more in the battle royale, because you need to hide from the enemy when the, the circle's getting smaller. I think in, in those kind of situations, then you're definitely going to need have those features but if you're just playing the, the basic this version which i'm playing i don't i don't think you're gonna really need uh to have all of those features you know what I, you know what i mean the the things that i'm i'm explaining here are that i feel the no, nostalgia or whatever you want to call it i i used to be a big fan of iphone games yeah I think I've made uh, videos about that before. I've actually stated that I used to play a lot of iPhone games in the past, yes? But what I feel like the backbone has done, it's actually brought the fun back. It's, it's bringing the fun back. It feels, it feels a, um, a whole lot more... Oh my God. It just it just feels fun to have this experience again on on something that i already love you understand i i'm not saying like this is the only phone i've got i've got samsung z fold 5 which i do love i i don't want to say more than my iphone but i have to be honest i, I do more on the z fold 5 than i do on my iphone i can run three apps at the same time but normally i just run two apps uh, I could be watching a YouTube video and doing, uh, I like to do a lot of research on my phone So obviously I'm not gonna say that the Z Fold 5 is not my favorite. It is my favorite because I can do more uh, in terms of multitasking But in saying that I'm not gonna say I don't like the iPhone. I like iPhone as well I just can't multitask as much as, as you you'd think Wow <laughs> I got three people. What, what I'm saying is, I don't feel like I can multitask that much on the iPhone. You understand? You can only use one app on this, this phone. And if, even if you go into those split screen browser things, apps that you normally get and try to use both uh, apps at the same time, 
the only thing you could do with the split screen uh, app is that you could probably browse on top and the, the bottom like pictures photos or something and then browsing in the bottom but it's, once you try to watch two videos on the screen what's going to happen one's going to cancel the other one out or it's going to take the whole screen that's what iphone does this doesn't do that this is a z fold it does not do that the z fold will allow the app to run fully on its own independently on the same screen you can run two apps at the same time youtube and youtube music at the same time of course it's going to sound a bit weird like how are you going to listen to both the fact what i'm trying to prove is that samsung does a lot more than this it's just that i feel that this sells for more money and more popular but this is the the beast this is the masterpiece right there if you are a multitasking person a business-minded person and i know you're saying like i don't play games fine i would always suggest samsung is the better value for money if you are you on a trip someone's uh, calling you telling you oh check this thing out um you know maybe they want information from you there's a meeting going on about something you take out your stylus you can take out the stylus the stylus is right there on, on my z fold 5 and you can take a screenshot of uh, the information the person is telling you about and to do just like he's asking you to verify just to make sure that he's got the same information you can run oh. Right, I, I think people are talking about him. Right, so... No, I, just, I just got the feeling like someone else was... <laughs> so I, I had to cancel that. Uh, I mean, it makes no difference. I'm not talking to anyone on, on this game anyway. But I, I just noticed like it seemed like someone was... No, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm disturbing their gameplay, you understand? So I don't want to do that. So I want to give everyone a chance to play the game and have fun right so basically what i'm saying is if if somebody asks me right now what can i do with the z fold 5 like the scenario i just told you somebody is giving you information he wants to verify he needs it for a meeting it's vitally important he has the correct information could be about stocks it could be about buying property but he needs he needs up-to-date information what would I tell him to use? An iPhone or a Z Fold 5, which is going to allow you to utilize three apps at the same time. He can do that search of the information he's been told to search about. And on one app, then the other app you can use to actually get the correct information. And on another app, you can actually watch a video about that just to verify that that is accurate. He's, getting, he's got three sources of information which he could not get on an iphone because that guy it's time it's time sensitive he needs the information on on the spot and he wants you to do it quickly for him he, he's not looking for you to take three days or four days trying to get the same information that you would normally get in uh, five minutes on his samsung you understand so he wants that information what are you going to use an iphone no I, I would rather suggest the person use a samsung a Z Fold 5 or a 4, if you got a 4, no problem, or the 3. I don't know how many apps you can run on those. Uh, I would like to think you can run the same amount of apps. But all I'm, all I'm going to say is that I would, I would like to think that that person is asking you for a favor, right? So he wants you to diligently find this information quickly within the next 10 to 15 minutes. If someone asks me what phone am I going to use, I'm going to use a Samsung. I'm going to check that information on one app. Maybe I use Chrome. The other app, the search app, I'm going to check for up-to-date information. And then the, on the other app, which I can actually utilize an entire full screen on, I'm going to use YouTube. Why? Because normally on YouTube, people do talk about stuff. So maybe it's a cultural thing that he needs to know. And I'm not getting the, I'm not getting the kind of information that he, he is looking for. I'm, I want I want all avenues. I want all the information I can gather. So what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use all the platforms that are available to me. Maybe it's a TikTok thing. Maybe it's a Instagram thing. Maybe the person's popular on Instagram. I wanna make sure that th this is the correct person he's talking to. Maybe the person's been scammed and the person's lying to you, saying he's that person when he's not. Maybe that person is uh, an uh, American 
and the person he's talking to is not an American, it's South African. You, you, know, you know what I mean? I would rather use this because this is going to give me all the information I want uh, within the specified 15 minutes. And I can tell that person and say, listen, the person you're talking to from, who's South African is not a South African, he's an American. It's a scam. Leave it. You understand? I'll get all that information from here within 15 minutes. Here, I'll have to be doing this, jumping into here, going in. You know, it's it's chaotic. The iPhone is chaotic. I don't, I don't know why this is so popular. It looks nice. And I think this was, you know what? I have, I've always told my friends that I think the iPhone was just designed uh, to play games. I, I know this sounds crazy coming from me because I'm, I'm an iPhone fan. But that's what I feel. This was never meant to be an actual phone. It's, it's just somebody who made this who thought, you know what, it's a flat screen, let's just put everything on it. And, and it worked out. It was a brilliant idea. But in terms of value for money and what you can do, um, this is what you need. This this thing. You're going to need a Samsung. A Z Fold 5, actually, or the 6 that's coming out. Because you're going to be able to use at least four apps on that thing. That, that's all I can say. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not favoring Samsung over iPhone. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying... The kind of information I could get from a Samsung may be slightly more valuable than the kind of information I got on an iPhone. Unless these, these people with the VR stuff that they're heading for, no problem. Maybe the VR is going to be more impressive. And, 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 I, and I truly hope, I truly hope that one day when, when that's a reality, the VR stuff, that yes, we, you know, we can enter a new era of Apple, you know, with the VR stuff. But then, until that day ha actually happens, this guy will disappear. Until that day actually happens, I I'm not gonna say that uh, for value for money, I mean, even if, even if it wasn't like for information, just having the Samsung is, 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 is a much better deal than an iPhone, come on. How can you compare something like Samsung? Some Samsung, like my phone, I'm not talking about every Samsung phone, I'm talking about the Z Fold, yes? So don't get it twisted, I'm not talking about every Samsung phone, I'm talking about the Z Fold 5, Z Fold 4. I'd rather have a Z Fold 4 than an iPhone. I'd rather have the Z, my Z Fold 5 than my iPhone. And I, and I do love my iPhone, because I, like you see, I, I think I play more games on the iPhone than I do on the Samsung. But um, that's beside the point. What do I do with my Z Fold? Everything you can think of. I can search emails. The email I click on, the attachments will open up into a web that will open up on the same screen. If I want it separately and I still want to open up the app I was in, I can do that. If, I want, if I'm bored and I want to listen to music while I'm doing this research stuff, uh, I can open up YouTube Music or I can open up Spotify. And the one thing I know, oh my god, my aiming is so bad. The one thing I know, you see, crouch, oh my god, oh the dog got him. <laughs> the dog's gonna get him as well. So, what, what, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying iPhone is bad, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that iPhone has its own market. It's, it's, it's a beautiful looking phone, it's well designed, it's got good apps, and it, and it does a specific thing for a specific person. But if you're an all-rounded person, a business-minded person, I, I, my suggestion would always be buy a Samsung Z Fold. Especially the, the new one that's coming out, the 6, because it's, much, it's a much bigger screen phone, and you'll be able to run four apps on that phone, uh, unlike this one, the one I've got that only runs three apps. And you're gonna ask me, what? Do, why do I need to run three apps in the screen for? Man, listen, I, I can be in Chrome. I can be in Chrome watching a movie, yeah? On this phone, I can be in Chrome. On one section of the screen, I, I'll show you something. It's only that the, the video is not about this. On this section, this entire section, I can be watching a movie. On these two sections here, because you can flip your phone, you can, the, you can flip the the actual apps you got on it. You can change the positioning of the apps you're running on your screen, which you can't do on iPhone. iPhone can't do that. And then I can be watching an entire movie right there on Chrome while I'm searching some information over here on Facebook or something, and here I'm using a different browser. Or I can have three different browsers running at the same time. 
and I can still watch everything on this phone. I can run three movies, different movies on this. The only thing I can't do is use the fourth one. You can have one that's floating on top, not an issue. I think you can run multiple apps uh, in those box formats and keep them on your screen like bubbles. But uh, my opinion is if you're a business-minded person, especially if you're serious at business, this is what you need. This is the ultimate. This is a toy. It's it's a good it's a nice toy. It's 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 a it's a beautiful toy and it's popular. And if you wanted to sell it, you get your money back. This is what you need if you're a business-minded person. The Samsung. Not this. That's my opinion. I'm not changing it for nobody. I, I, I sold my iPad mini because I have the Z Fold 5. That's how much I believe in this. This is a brilliant phone. And I can't wait for the Z Fold 6 to come out because I'm going to buy that too.